Hello everybody, this is Budrich and in this video I thought we would look at how to add long options to yeah, the BWP script is our goal here. And with long options I mean this, here are two commands, the same command uh, doing the exact same thing here. I, I3 get dash R and then I C here, meaning print uh, the instance and the class name of the currently active window here which is this window. But I can also write it like this, i3 get dash dash print, which is the long option for R here, and then I C. So these two mean the same thing. And I, I think that long options is a very good thing to add to your scripts. It's like, it's always a good idea to use uh, long options, um, especially uh, for in, in in other scripts, it's, it's, it makes it much easier to know what's going on here. Uh, yeah, as you can see, R and print. Print makes just more sense than R. And then you might ask yourself, but why isn't it called dash P here for print? Well, probably there is a, 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 a short option P that means something else or something like that, because that always happens, you know, you know you, and that is uh, the, the biggest drawback with the uh, short options is that you, you run out of, of characters very quickly, at least same characters, you know, and maybe you have, yeah, whatever, you, you get it. But this is not as easy and straightforward and it is actually quite annoying, to be honest, uh, to work with long options here. We will, it, I will try to, to give you some, some history on long options in, in shell scripting here. So I have brought up uh, the GNU um, standards for command line interfaces uh, in, in which, uh, yeah, th this is how, how the GNU organization recommends people to, to write uh, uh, command line interfaces, which is BWP is a command line interface program, for example. Uh, and the GNU says that it's a good idea to follow, follow POSIX guidelines for the command line options of a program. The easiest way to do this is to use getopt to parse them. Uh, note that the GNU version of getopt will normally permit options anywhere among the arguments unless the special argument dash dash is used. Uh, please define long named options that are equivalent to the single letter Unix style options. We hope to make GNU more user friendly this way, blah blah blah. Yeah, and it tells you here why it's a good idea. It also say that uh, it, it is kind of mandatory for, for uh, GNU CLI programs to have the two options version and help. And I think that's a good idea to do that. The, but I know there are like, there are so many opinions, like everything in the GNU, the Linux uh, world, you know, or like programming world or whatever, there's always like at least two camps. There are some people that say that long options shouldn't be used at all. Some people say you shouldn't use command line options at all, just use uh, uh, arguments without any dashes. It's, it's easier, it's, it makes more sense in there. Yeah, let's not use words now, but uh, there are so many, so many uh, sides and, and whatever you choose one side of you lose, you know. I also just made a quick uh, web search here with DuckDuckGo for different getup getups and just clicked on, on a couple of links here. And I got two completely different uh, approaches to this. Here's a blog uh, article by Marius van Witzenberg. Um, who just makes a couple of simple examples here about them. He, um, and his conclusion is that neither method is wrong. And I'm sure, yeah, th this, is, th this looks like a normal sane person have written this, you know. Neither is wrong, there are use cases for both of them. We will soon see here that, that they are very different. I have also not really mentioned that getopt that, that we will use here to, to uh, uh, to be able to use long options is a, is a different program than getopts, which we have been using prior to this, you know, this. This is a shell built-in, type getopts. It's a shell built-in, but that doesn't support long options. To, to, the easiest, in quotation mark, easiest way to do this is, um, is to use getopt 
which is a different uh, application and it is not a shell built in but it is part of, of uh, and this is where it gets even weirder because it is like a GNU uh, core utility get opt. it is uh, distributed by the GNU organization or the GNU whatever it is you know and bash is also that's a GNU program so it's really weird that it isn't like better synergy be between these two but whatever so this is uh, this guy's example, but then we have this uh, by Abicek Pandi, uh, another article here, a uh, bit more recent from 2016, uh, and he, he say that you should generally try to stay away from get opt for the following reasons, blah blah blah. And then he have some uh, examples here. Uh, and he also here is like a dirt hack how you can actually get something like uh, uh, long option support in getopt as well. I don't use this. I, I, I prefer to use a getopt version. But you will see it's it's the syntax is is not fun. It's not fun at all, and it's completely different here from what we have been using in getopt here. I prepared the script here. Uh, opt parse, uh, we can just echo works and then we can do opt parse here just to show you that this is the script. And then I thought uh, let's let's use the examples here uh, from this article by Marius uh, to demonstrate this quickly, the difference uh, especially in the syntax. There uh, uh, I wanted the, the, the getops version first because that's what we've been using that we all know and love you know and I I like getops uh, better sometimes whatever because this is what we use in in BWP you know we also use get get opt there exactly in the same way as as Mario's uh, example here. Uh, except that we also use our, our magical array here and assign every element like this, you know, so we can just append stuff here. Uh, that's another big benefit by using uh, getops, you can do things like that. And here, you know, a colon after the, the option uh, character here means that it uh, needs an uh, argument. And the arguments are stored in this magical variable called optarg. We also have this magical variable optind that uh, knows where on the command line we are. We talked about this in a in a previous video. Uh, get getopt on the other hand doesn't have either optarg or optind, and you have to shift in the loop manually. You have to do a lot more work yourself, and it's yeah. We could just try this here now first uh, opt parse and then let's test uh, C and that doesn't require an, an argument so then it just echoes C used here as expected if we try with B then we get a, 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 an error here because it, it requires an argument uh, but if we give it an argument then it says be used and arg, just as expected as we have here. And we can also do, you know, uh, combine options with get opts like C, B, arg, and then it says C used and B used arg. Easy. So the same version but with long option support written with get opts look like this. And I will of course link the articles and the, that GNU page in the show notes. Um, this is the same thing here now, uh, but with getopt in, get instead. And, and as you can see, you can still combine options like this. Uh, but now we can also use long options. So, and the long options, uh, we can see them. This is the long options uh, added to here L and then a list of long options here yeah um, 
and the long option for C is uh, yeah I guess yeah very funny C is the long option so you could e either write C or C haha <laughs> I guess it's easier to see it here you know you see so this didn't work Uh, uh, yeah, I expected or suspected that it looks like a typo here. It should be a comma here. Now it works. Yes, yes, it uh, it was a typo in the example here. I, I will uh, or it's written in 2013. I don't think whatever. We don't need to report a bug on this. But if that uh, if Marius is watching this, there's an error in your example. Uh, but here you can see we can use the C, the long option, or we can use the short option C. There are also, I this is something that I really don't like, that there are some programs with long options written like this. So it's a single dash, but I really don't like that. Uh, but but GetDoc doesn't support that, and I don't support it either. But you find programs uh, more quite often that, that have long options defined with just a single dash. Um, and as you can see here, th this is completely different from the getopts version. Uh, we, we store an, uh, or create a variable called args here, uh, in which we store the output of, of this getopt command. And he, here, this getopt command, you define the short options with the O option here. There is also, you know, getops, you can find help for getops, since it's a shell built in, you can use help to display the, the help here for getops. But since getopt is an external program, you, you need to uh, consult the man page to get documentation for it. And here is that man page. Ah, here. Okay, it, it actually do support single dash if we use the A option here. Yeah, and I guess if you add this, then you, then it will allow both single and double. Whatever. I don't like it anyways. And here we can see in the documentation for getopt itself, uh, it have both short and long options for all all its own shell options. Uh, yeah, and there are quite a lot here. It's not that much, but whatever. The important options here right now is the O options, which define the short opts here. Uh, and the long options, because you can also define long options with get opt. So maybe we should... Yeah, why not use uh, long options here so to make it more clear what's going on, you know, long options. Uh, and you, you write the short and the long options in the same way, except you need a comma in the long option list like this. You don't separate them by space, uh, you, you separate them by commas. I'm, Separating the names with commas, yeah. Um, but the colon means the same thing with long options as it does in, in short options. Another thing with getopt here is that you can also add a double colon. And that means it takes an optional argument. I don't think I want to get into that in this video. But you can do more things with getopt. But as you can see, you have to write first this weird thing here, and then this n option, that's the n name of the program. Uh, you will see here what that means. Uh, opt parse c. And then we get here uh, an error message, and it says getopt.sh, and that is the name here. So here you should uh, use the same name as the script. Or you should, but that's what I do at least. And now we get a different uh, error message. But I think it, it's only used for that. And if you leave leave this out, then it will uh, then you will get this error message instead. And I guess 
in one way it's better to do that than have the wrong name here because now it says it's something wrong with the get opt in the script I, I, whatever and then dash dash and then this thing here meaning all arguments passed to the script you, uh, this is how you usually write uh, a get opt this is not needed really uh, it tests here if no arguments are, are passed at all to the script then you need to do this weird thing here eval set dash dash args this is a, you, you need to do this and then some sort of, of a loop here and loop the arguments already much it's it's extremely difficult to, to remember this from the top of your head i don't really do that um, uh, i have a template for all of this but we get, get back to that also then you can see here now we we, we loop dollar uh, one here while true dollar one uh, and then we have to manually shift for every option we find here uh, we, all of this is done automatically, you know, with get opts, but with get opt, we have to manually shift and there is no opt arg argument. Instead, we shift and then dollar one will be the opt arg. Uh, we also have to write it like this, you know, uh, get opt here. It doesn't know that A here is the long option for A. God damn, this is annoying that it is the same wording for this. Let, let's do add and uh, background and config <laughs> so either short option a or long option add yeah you get it <laughs> and then we get i have to change that here add background and config as you can see you have to add uh, make these tests yourself if you add more options here you have to add both the short option you have to add the long option and you have to add a new test and you have to write it like this and remember the single dash and the double dash for them and i guess it's it it gets even more complicated if you allow single long dash long options so you can see it's it's very tedious to write this uh, and then also if you add the documentation to this, which you should, then it gets even worse. But I have found, uh, or I have created a, a solution for this, a very intricate template system. But whatever, let's now add this to uh, BWP. And as you can hear, I, I am not super happy with this. But this is still the best way to do this. And also, I, this is important. Get opt, since it's not built into bash, it's uh, external, it, it, it becomes a dependency. But it's not, never a problem Problem with, with like Linux and the most... Uh, it's like a GNU specific program. I think that BSD have their own get opt version that works almost the same way, but there are small differences. Be aware. And I think MacOS doesn't have it at all, or if they have the BSD version, because I, I've had some issues with, with people, uh, I wrote scripts and then Mac users are, are telling me they have issues and I have found that getopt is the cause of this, it doesn't, either not working at all or something is, gets weird. So that's, that's kind of a serious thing that getopt isn't uh, makes your scripts much less portable. Get opts is more portable, but you cannot have long options if you don't do the dirt hack. Well, get opt is a dirt hack in itself, but whatever. Yeah, I, I really don't like this. I, I wish it was like built in long option support in Bash. They should really add that and try to figure out how to do it correctly, in my opinion. So. Let's add the long options here. And now we can just copy this short option list we have for get opts. We can use that in, in our get opt version here. And I actually like to quote these option strings even if it's not really needed. And then we add long options here. And here also the order we write the long options, since, since uh, getopt doesn't really care at all about this and, and you don't need to have 
we, th this is valid. This is completely valid uh, uh, get up here. We don't need long options for any of our short options. And we can add more long options than we have short options and they don't need to match or anything. We, we, we do the tests manually for this. But I guess uh, to, to make it easy here, it's best to write the long options in the same order as the short options here. And now we will also get a very, very long annoying string here. I'm not sure how we will do this, but let's do it. Wallpaper can be one long option. Blur for B. Uh, lock for lock. Add for add to library. Force for the force option. Rename for X uh, rename option. Uh, R random. And then H is, I guess, help. V is version. N, what is N? I don't even remember what N is. Yeah, next and previous, of course. Next, previous, random there. Okay. Uh, where are we? V, previous, next, and delete. Prev, next, delete. There, now we have created our long option list here. Also, rename uh, takes an argument, so we should add a colon after that there. So you see, this simple little string here. Um, yeah, actually, we, we, we do want to test for long options here. Uh, it, it is this part, you know. So we could change this to this and write it in, in the bot labs. Whatever, let's keep it here, I, I, I'm not sure. And then eval, we don't need a semicolon here. I don't know why I added that. Um, Okay, and now we just have to add all our options here because now we cannot do a magical uh, assign to an array here because we have to test for, for the long options, the short options. It, it is no easy way to do this really. Or there, there is, but right now let's do it the, the hard way. Wallpaper. Let's just add all our options here. It will take some time here, but whatever. We can do it. We'll copy this just for reference here now when we write it. So we have, let's do this. We have wallpaper, we have blur, we have lock, we have add, we have force, we have rename, we have random, we have help, we have version, we have previous, we have next, and we have delete. And now we just A, oh, autocomplete, die, ah, and also W, B, god damn it. L oh. A oh. <laughs> F please stop up uh, sublime uh, sublime preferences autocomplete 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 here, autocomplete with fields, autocomplete, close tags, false, god damn it. Okay. F, X, no weird autocomplete stuff. Oh man, this feels so good. H, can't believe I have been using autocomplete for so long. N, N, D, and then the long options. Blur, lock, and here it's very important that we write it exactly as the long options here. This is also a, where something you, it's very easy to just make a small typo here. You have to troubleshoot this stuff. It's 
this is very, very tedious, and especially when we are doing what we are doing now, when we are uh, converting a script that we already have with a bunch of options and, and, and uh, refactoring it with long option support like this. It's much easier if you have long options from the start, then, then it's this, this process is not that, that difficult, but it's still annoying. But I will show you, I have found or created my own uh, little thing that will make this so much easier. But we, we almost have to do it the, the hard way first here to understand why, why we want a uh, uh, utility to do this for us. Wallpaper help version prev. Next, delete. Okay, now we have all our tests here. We can add that here. Uh, and all of them will, will, you know, do the same thing. Add to our magical array here. All of them except except rename is the same thing because rename uh, store dollar uh, one like this. So if it's rename, then we first shift and then uh, assign O X is equal to dollar one and then we shift again then we close this all the other uh, options here will be um, o and then here it's w and, and there is no magic uh, variable i can use here because you see here dollar one is equal to dash w or dash dash w so i cannot really or what we could do is trim the leading uh, leading dashes before we test anything here but that is not good either uh, there is no no good easy way here you you will see but there or there is whatever w is equal to 1 and then we have to manually shift uh, to make dollar 1 the next option in the list here So this is what we add to all our oh, I should add the semicolons to this maybe we can even do this and then do this 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 you know sublime bloat bloatware <laughs> multiple cursors it's a meme you know it's a it's a complete meme god damn doing this you know what an idiot uh, and then we change this to b we change this to L, we change this to A, we change this to F, and we change this to correct, this to R, this to H, this to V, this to P, this to N, this to D, and why are you here? This to nothing. Now, now it feels like I have missed something here, but whatever. As you can see, very, very ugly, uh, annoying uh, loop here. Shift, 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 uh, onset, F, O, R, that's for our stuff there. Okay, now I think we can use our BWP here with long options if everything worked correctly. Let's go to Workspace 2 and test BWP uh, wallpaper random. Not a valid option. done oh maybe yeah yeah this is the now we have both 
get up and get up, so we should absolutely not have that. Okay. Wallpaper random. Okay, I have officially broken everything. That's not good. What's wrong here? You probably know it. Uh, it looks okay to me, I think. Create a magic array. Shift. <sighs> Option and then echo. Wall option, random opt, but we never reach the opt. Ah, now I know, I know what it is. We don't have the la this is important when you use get opt also. It will never break out of this loop because you know, we have a while true here. So it never breaks, it, it, it loops forever here. But what we do is we actually break at uh, when we find two dashes here. The, I'm sorry, I should have remembered that. Shift, break. Now it will work. There, opt parts done, and now wallpaper random. Oh. Why doesn't it work? With long options. Got the error here. Wallpaper random. Short options work, long option doesn't work. Um, maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah you, you saw, I, I removed the, the leading colon there from, from the option list. And I don't remember, they work a bit different, but now you can see it works with, with uh, uh, random walls here. We can, uh, if we do this, cat, tmp, bwp, history. This is the history you know. Uh, and now we are at win 95. So if we do wallpaper previous or prev, we named it, then we should get sunny leaves here. And that works as well. So now we have long option support. We also should add this uh, to the documentation. Now you will also see that we get really ugly here because we need uh, you write that like something like this either wallpaper or the opposite. I, I, I think the opposite is, is better. This uh, blur. Lock. 
delete add rename help version then we have the force here may the force be with you even if it's a long option and then these guys uh, prev and this is not perfect now either next to write this maybe yeah, whatever let's leave it like this and, and this is how I like to write these so-called synop op option synopsis I write them exactly the, the full version of each uh, different uh, command line option you can write you know like we have here and sure now it gets a bit messy with this maybe we should add these to new lines instead Like that. Oh. Yeah, I, I think if you watch this video and have never done this or seen this before, it, you're probably just like, I will never do that. Th this looks insane, Budrich. Uh, why, why would anyone go through this pain? I can, I can see and hear that you are suffering. Stop, do, don't do this to yourself. But the thing is, you, this is good. I, I'm not doing this for anyone else's sake, but mine, because you go, you will get insane if you write. Uh, yeah, because you know, I, I, you know me, you know. Uh, I have many, 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 many scripts, and all of them have command line options. And before I started using uh, long options, I, I was like spending more time reading my own documentation. If I had any documentation, that's like the first thing. I, I need to write this down, what all these different short options do. Uh, everything gets m so much easier to remember and clear uh, when you use long options. It's, it's just for my own sake. And the thing is, I also, uh, we didn't do that here. But if we open, for example, yeah, let's go to Polyfy here so I can show you that. Since that's a recent uh, script here. Here we can see how, how my uh, get opts looks like in, in my normal script. And all of this is automatically generated. Uh, this is what I will show you maybe in the next video, how, how I write this. So I, I never have to do this actually. It's, it's so much easier with, with my bash bud thing. And here we can see my magical array here, my option array. I don't use the short option, I use the long option instead. And that is also much easier when you start, uh, when you write the scripts and stuff, you, you uh, it makes it much more clear what's going on in, in the script when you're using the long option, in my opinion, and or it's it's not my opinion. That that's a that's a fact, you know. <laughs> yeah, but here expired time. It, it's much easier to understand what's going on here than if it would say just T here, for example. Uh, and another little thing that I do in my scripts is that uh, I always have a long option, but I don't always have a short option. Uh, I don't know if I have such an example here. No, I don't think I, ha I have uh, matching short options for every, every option here. But sometimes you might just need a test option or something or whatever. Whatever, that felt overkill. I don't know why I, I really went through that um, but now we have long option support in in, in um, or do we really do h and v work now whatever whatever yeah we'll see what we do in the next video uh, because as I've said, we, uh, and this is my plan my plan is to, to kind of finalize this BWP uh, 
script or program or whatever uh, here on, on the YouTubes like uh, all the way to, to a final uh, release on GitHub and uh, AUR you know and to do that I, I would like to add like a man page uh, refactor the script a bit here and, and add some stuff and then we will actually use this uh, mysterious thing that I've been talking about my bash code thing here because yeah, why, why not just show you an example here with Polyfy here. This is how I define options. Um, I just write them in this synopsis here. And this synopsis is exactly that synopsis that I wrote in the documentation, you know. So if I want to add uh, like a command line option, I can just add it to this list somewhere. Like let's add a command line option called uh, ha 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 ha. And the short option can be capital X and then maybe I want a, a, an argument for this uh, funny save this go to that directory and then I just run bash pod bump there weird stuff happened but now if I look here now in the polyfy script here we should see our ha 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 option added with the long option and this means that it supports you can see some of them takes one uh, just a single integer one but some take the second argument here and then shifts you see this does all of this automatically it have even added this ha 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 to the documentation here so if i do polyfy dash h we can see that ha 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 should be added here to to uh, uh, maybe it didn't work here now. Well, it should be in the documentation because it is here. I, I don't know, maybe I'm stupid here now and doesn't see it. Yeah, it should be between these two. Whatever. It is. Um, and it's also added to the man page here actually. So man. And here we can see the synopsis. It also have uh, polyfy, ha ha ha. It's in the man page with the argument and everything. You see, that, that's how easy it is uh, if you use bashpod here uh, to add command line options. You only need to add it at one place and write it just like, like you want for, for the documentation. Of course, it doesn't say what ha 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 does here because we haven't defined that. But I could just add like ex ex uh, additional uh, documentation for it by by adding one of these and this is written in markdown so i can do uh, options what was it now ha, 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 ha. god damn it uh, uh, i have to <laughs> such a stupid example name there but ha 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 Prints a funny joke example funny ha 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 I can add a code block here all in markdown you know do a new bash bug bump here and now um, that is now added to, to the man page, for example, here. And funny here is actually bold, but I have disabled all bold in my terminal. I, ju I, I just find it annoying, but if you had a bold text enabled in the terminal, it would also be bold here in the man page. You can see uh, code blocks are indented automatically like this. It's I have put so much work into this bash part. That, that's the thing that I have um, yeah, worked the hardest on, but whatever. Just a little tease of what that is. So yeah, we see. May, uh, may, next video we'll continue with the BWP trying to make a, a public uh, version of it. We'll see how far we get. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day.